On this episode of Full Bore, I get this 4K engine and make it slightly less slow. So we all know that the uh, original 4K Toyota motor isn't uh, much of a powerhouse, but you know there are a few ways you can sort of pep them up a little bit. Of course you can give them a port and polish, a fully sick exhaust system, you can even chuck a lumpy cam in them. And um, you know I've already given it the uh, exhaust do over and I've sort of already done a bit of port matching and a bit of polishing. So uh, the next step is of course to chuck a bigger, better carburetor on it. So what I've got here is the original carby off say a 3k or a 4k Toyota engine um, and if you look down here the throats in it um, you know they're not too big and what that means is it's sort of restricting the flow of the air into of course my combustion chamber as you may have seen in the previous full ball video but what I've got here and I found it up in my dad's shed is a Weber carburetor um, I think it's a 32 slash 36 or whatever they call it. It's a Weber Carby off a Cortina, a 2 litre Cortina from the 70s or 80s. Um, so what we're going to do is chuck this on the 4K and as you can see, the throats underneath are a fair bit better and bigger. So hopefully, a bit more air in, a bit more bang and therefore a bit more go. What are we waiting for? Let's get cracking. Mad, fully sick brew. That's pretty car pie. Okay, there we go. So there she is. That's where all the magical JDM powers happen, and that's where all my fuel, all those gasoline boys, go into my motor. So we'll crack that off the manifold, and then of course I fit this new adapter plate that I've got, and uh, you know she should be sweet. Should be fully sick. Hey. And there we go, lads. Oh, spewing fuel everywhere. Good stuff. Fuel's good for the skin, I reckon. So what I've got here. There's a red line uh, Carby adapter kit, which I got through super cheap for, it was team price, so it was 30 something bucks. You can get them off eBay for like 50 bucks. But um, what this will do, so if you have a look at this, so the that's the original Carby there. The stud pattern is a little bit shorter than on the um, Webbers. So as you can see there, there's a new studs there. That'll just slip on like that. Um, I'll just slip this new, studs into the extra holes there and Bob's your uncle
Okay, so we successfully got the Weber on the uh, in the Mighty 4K. So now it's time to fuel up the fuel line. So this was the original one that came from the fuel pump on the side of the block to the original Ison car. Uh, we don't really need that anymore. Um, so what I've got here is a quarter quarter inch gas um, threaded uh, barb. So that'll go straight into the fuel pump, and then I've just got some 5 16 hose which I'll just plumb up and around the front of the uh, engine here and up into the barb on the carb. Yeah, try it. Okay, so the Weber is finally on the Mighty 4K. So I've got the fuel lines hooked up, I've got the throttle hooked up. I had to make up a bracket, of course, for the throttle because it's in a totally different position. Uh, I've got some vacuum lines hooked up. The tappet cover is practically just venting into the atmosphere, but nobody really cares about that. Um, all it really needs now is just um, pretty much a bit of a tune-up. need to put the choke flaps back in it and, of course, an air cleaner. But, at this stage, she's ready to go. Probably needs a bit of a re-jetting, but other than that, it's not too bad. It bogs down on the secondaries, but uh, she should be sweet. Time to see how much power I've got. Once again, the KE70 Corolla has proved that you don't need a million dollars to have a whole bunch of fun in your cheap as vehicle. All you need is realistically a die grinder, a carburetor, a few spanners, and a whole bunch of time. 
What are you waiting for? You should do the same. Catch you next time on Full Ball. Because this, this is, this is living. This is life. This is where you need to be in life. You know, if you're not pulling apart your car at seven o'clock at night, then you know what? What's the point of you? What's the point of life? You know, this is living. You know. It's gonna be sick, it's gonna be so fast. It's gonna go, it's gonna be Nathaniel's Corona. It's practically the only reason I'm doing it, so I can beat his Corona, isn't it? Not really. I want it to go fast. I want this thing to go heckin' fast. Singing, you know, I'll beat those stupid Spec B Liberties at the lights. Who cares about Spec B Liberties when you got K70s? Spec B Liberties aren't even that cool, you know? You know, it's not like they go real quick and they sound like a Porsche. You know, they're just a Liberty. It's just a Suvi. Nobody cares.